and Buenos studies for me, Darren Lilly at Lilly Pad Properties. Right, I am in La Florida and I am not too far now from the Emerald Isle, Valdemar's, the supermarket shops, all this direction. I'll go through that in a minute. And if I just go up to the top of the road here, I'm about a three, four minute walk to Via Park 3. But look at this street. This is really, really more Spain. All little bungalows, little gardens, got driveways, all got loads and loads of character. Right, I'm not going to rub it on too much. I'm going to take you through the property first because I'm, just, I'm itching to get you in here. But the first thing that you'll see when we're walking is the quality. This house has been totally reformed over the last few years. And you're going to see how lovely it is. What I find about this property more than anything is the sunshine. There's so much terrace and there's so many places you can sit. In the morning, you probably come out this side because this is the east side of the house. So we're on the east side and you've got all this terrace here. This is where you'd have your breakfast if you want to sit in the sun. Look at that, he's got his umbrellas up, you see. Got Toldo there. But right, let me do the viewing the way I would do the viewing if you're screen. Up there's the annex. I'll show you that in a minute. But let me take you through. Right, we go through here. Got living room, TV area, kitchen, da 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 da. Then look at this, right, come out here. Just been sitting here with a gentleman now, having a chat. Sitting here. Just had a little beer and a little chat about what we're going to do. I've got viewing on this on Friday. But look at this. Awesome, awesome terrace. So you've got the big terrace out the front of the house. And then we've got this lovely terrace at the rear of the house. Now it gets, it goes on, look. Let me take you down here. There's his barbecue. Again, seating area there. So you can't really get the size until you're here in person. Got some other villas over the back there, but look at all that sunshine. This really is a sun trap. We've got these lights. And like I say, all this finishing. This is a uh, Gotagrand. You never, ever, ever have to paint that again. You never have to paint that. Got all new windows in. <laughs> this made me laugh. I come around. I love this. Look at this. I know it's only a closed lawn. The guy had done his nut when he came back. He said his wife spent 300 euros on that. But this just winds in and wraps up against the wall. This is about this house. All the little things have been done. He's got this out because that's the bedroom, so it keeps a bit, little bit of the shade. All new windows. Got a little outside kitchen at the back here with the barbecue. So he's got two barbecues there. He's got that one. He's got one up there. Right. You didn't notice. I didn't point that out when I first turned up at that, this house. This is the garage. Take you out. That's where my little green car's just parked up out there. So you've got plenty of space here. So you've got a garage there. And then underneath, it's that little underbuild. They got like a little washroom. Little washroom. Put all your bits and pieces down here. You can have a little bodega. Have an iron room. It's lovely. Like we got, I've got to be 28 degrees out there. It is lovely and cool under here. A little escape. But it could be a little hobby room or something like that. Or somebody putting all your children. Right, we go through. By the way, again, through there is the other terrace, the front terrace. All right, so right, there's the garage. Let me take you back through into the house now. <clears throat> go all the way around here. This community as well has two very large swimming pools, all grassed areas. The community fee works out at about 240 euros a year. 240 euros a year with a council tax, which we call SUMA or EB, of about 200 euros a year. Can you imagine? You see what you get living in Spain. 240 for 200, two swim pools and 200 for council tax. They're having us off over there, aren't they? Great kitchen, I'll turn around, and then we can see the living room. It's nice and bright in this house. Now, I'll go through to he's got his books up there. Right, we've got a fine size shower room. 
with window. Always like a window in the bathroom. Then we've got the small bedroom with a double bed. Double bed. Then we've got units, then we've got air con. Then we go through again. Big bedroom. Go back into the room now. I'm going to show you the, uh, the guest room. So come back out onto this terrace. Back on. It's all lights, these. Look really pretty at night time. Right, we'll go up here. Go in here. I'll show you the guest shower room. And then through here, another big double bed. Go out here. And we've got the terrace. I can point out where we are here. Just up the top is the Emerald Isle. It's quite good, really, because you don't get none of the noise. You know, you don't get that noise, you know, really loud music or anything because music is facing the other's direction. So the sound all goes down that way. So that's just the restaurant area. And then up here, we got Via Park 3. That direction, you can't see, just through there, it says Consume. That's like your Tesco, Sainsbury's area. There we go. This, my friends, is a cracking listing. If you hold fire, I'm going to add the swimming pool at the back. Just show the terrace. All right. Let's go out to the swimming pool. Okay, and this, my friends, is the swimming pool in question. Well, one of them, anyway, because there's another swimming pool. Uh, the property that we've just been to is just over the back of this tree here, these olive trees. But look at that, how nice. It's nice and quiet now because it's just coming towards the end of uh, siesta time. So, there you go. Absolutely glorious. Right, whatever you're doing, have a lovely day. And I hope to see you soon. Adios.